EMTs arrived at this Northside home to help a two-year-old who'd stopped breathing, they found the sixth child victim of opioid overdose in just 16 months. No one answered at the home this afternoon. Tonight, the boy's mom is in jail, her son at the morgue where staff are sounding an alarm. Protect the, the medications in your home um, as if they're all lethal weapons. In the last decade, the ME's office says just one child died playing with a gun. Now a half dozen children are dead after getting their hands on prescription drugs. They're just as lethal, um, it's just as dangerous, it's just as tragic, so and we've only a much, bigger risk. much bigger problem. Sarah Schreiber runs the ME's toxicology lab, which tests patient fluids to identify drugs and quantities taken. She says even a single pill can be deadly to a child. When a child consumes the drug, they will likely chew it, because that's their nature. That releases all of the drug at once into the system, so they're getting a much higher concentration of the drug exposed to them in a much shorter period of time. And that little boy who died last night has been identified as James Vessel. He was two and a half years old. His mom is in jail tonight. The district attorney will consider a possible charge of homicide, a neglect resulting in homicide. At the medical examiner's office, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News.